Hello guys, you got Chris 537 here with you from the Anarchy Underground. So you can see the t-shirt right there. And uh it's going to go over some Q-Link stuff with you, try to get you online. So first thing you want to do is go to a website, it is O-R-R-T-E-C-H dot U-S slash Q-L-I-N-K, the word Q-Link, slash index dot H-T-M-L. See it right there. So um, once you get to that page, you'll see down here where my little scroll is, alternative PC software, which is TCP serve. And it's got a string there for you to type in. And then on top of that, you want to download the uh, Commodore side software, which is the Q-Link D64. And remember, this is how you configure it. I already have my uh, floppy disk configured, which is right here in the disk drive. Q-Link reloaded, Chris 537A, with my lovely labeling. <laughs> So, we're going to go over to the TCP server side. On here you got your folder with everything in there you need. I actually named this one Start 6. So, the way I do it is I use the good old Notepad app. On here, you open it up. Go to your computer, C drive. And I got this in its own little folder right here. Maybe the wire will just better. There we go. So now we're going to go down to the type. And we want to go to all files. Because these are dot .bat files. And go to start number 6. And this is the actual string. That you will want to type in. To your um, TCP server, which is the exact same thing it should be that's on the website. Oh, it's got server port TS5. So, on this video, which is what I use, it's you want to type this exact string in. Then, once you go to file, you save it as. Make sure this here is clicked as all files. And you want to type in start 6. Dot B A T. Hit enter. Hit it save it. So now we're ready to launch it. So we're going to go to start 6 right here. And it will launch the. Uh, TCP serve. There's the string that we got that's going to uh, kick it in. And then we're uh, got this actually hooked up to this dual core computer here. And we have a little fan noise. And uh, got the null modem cable plugged into top port one. And on the other end. got it going through a Supra inter modem interface going down and this will be the other end so we do got our reloaded disk in here the one I showed you earlier and it's as simple as hitting the power switch right there on the side do not hit port number two because you can fry your Commodore from static electricity which I have experienced before Alright, so now we're on our Commodore 64 screen with Jeffy Doss. Do the usual load asterisk comma eight comma one. And we got some disk drive action. We got Jiffy DOS on here, so to go a little quicker. Now, as it's connecting, you'll notice on your 
TCP serve, you'll see some data going across there, which is normal. Chris 537, and that should be your login screen you see when you first connect. So we'll go to the menu. And I'll just show you the quick people connection. It is hooked up to the IRC on the, the new net at the pound C64 friends with the S at the end. So we're officially connected into the lobby. So we'll, uh, we can list the occupied rooms. There ain't nothing in there. So we'll change. Go to a public room. Hit the uh, F1 key right here. We'll type in IRC C64 and we are officially in the room if you want to try it out on your PC side you can load up MIRC of course we do not have the legit version on here that's paid for <laughs> But we are connected on the uh, TCP surf side. We have some stuff on there that looks like that. And then when you connect to your uh, IRC on here, uh, we are on the new net. button there we go under our pound C64 FRINDS right there Click on join. You'll notice the uh, uh, Q link right there. And guess who entered the ring? So it is all connected together. And go on here and say, hey, what's up? And it will pop in your Q link screen. So it is all still kicking in 2013. Thought y'all would enjoy this video. And then if you want to log off a Q link, you can always uh, go move to another thing and sign off. Press return. Tell your total time. Hit a five. Boom. And you're back to basic. You'll see on here, you know, left the conversation. So, anyway, that's how you do it, man. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.